case they are ever faced with anything even remotely similar to what happened at that Orlando nightclub over the weekend. News Watch 16's Christina Papa was with the group in Williamsport as they ran through realistic active shooter training. She joins us live from the Central Pennsylvania newsroom now with the story. Christina. John and Julie, after this past weekend's mass shooting in Orlando, law enforcement tell us there is a question most people should ask themselves. Would you know what to do if you found yourself in a life-threatening situation like a mass shooting? If you answered no, you might want to listen up. <laughs> it could happen in an instant, and it could happen almost anywhere. A person with a knife, a shooter, forcibly taking others' lives in a public place. Those are gunshots. Those noises uh, simulate gunshots uh, from the Peloton. This is all just a training scenario inside Curtin Intermediate School in Williamsport. However, what, what used to be not so commonplace is now very commonplace, and that includes uh, mass shootings. About 40 Lycoming County and Williamsport City employees found out what they could do if they ever find themselves in a life-threatening situation, anything like the mass shooting that happened in Orlando over the weekend. We laid on the floor, covered our heads, acted like we were dead and pretty much we were when the shooter came in the room. It's called Alice training and teaches a proactive approach during an emergency rather than hiding. I mean, I feel safe where I work, but I guess anything could happen. And then you don't really think about that until after something like today we went through. The officers hope to make this training as realistic as possible. So in some scenarios, county workers were able to do most anything they thought of, including crawling out of windows to get away from the shooter. To know where your exits are, it doesn't necessarily have to be a door. It can be anything as long as you can get out, if you can. Would you try to stop the gunman? Would you run? Do you work in a group or alone? The exercises forced county employees to ask themselves these questions and then react. Because the worst thing somebody can do is nothing. Even if they do the wrong thing, they've done something. The county hopes to bring this program to schools and businesses in the area throughout the year and throughout other years. Anyone in Lycoming County who's interested in finding out more about the active shooter response training should contact the district attorney's office in Lycoming County. Christina Papa, Newswatch 16, reporting live from the Central Pennsylvania Newsroom. Looks like my area is going to be uh, having a lot of drills this summer. Maybe that explains all the helicopters. Keep my eyes open. Later.